the week I took off <laughs> uh, or maybe we will we'll get into it in a little bit but before we jump into the vlog and all of that all of the tea all of the everything that I have to give you all the updates before we jump into it I did want to give a shout out to today's sponsor so shout out to Nutriblast for sending me over their feminine care care package this is not a true unboxing because one I'm too boozy two I couldn't wait like I just had to see what was tea like I was so excited to receive this that I just could not wait and do like a full like unboxing first impressions on camera so sorry not sorry <laughs> i'm just y'all know me i'm very newbie so i had to but it's just it comes in this super cute box and then it says specifically designed for your intimate health love that and then like you see like it's just a whole bunch of goodies and we're about to get into it they sent me over some supplements and then they sent me over some boric acid these are suppositories and i've never used these before y'all but like from any brand but i know that girls love these like especially after your period so i'm super excited to try these out um i know these are like a godsend for girls and i've always been curious about them so when i saw that they sent me some i was so excited like so 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 excited i y'all know when it comes to like hygiene I'm all about it. Y'all know when it comes to like feminine health, I'm all about it. So when they reached out, it was just like, um, absolutely. Y'all know I be drinking my cranberry juice for urinary health, like all of the things. I be drinking my karma water. I take my little supplements and stuff like that. So y'all know like when it comes to like my body, but like down there too, I be taking care of my homegirl. So it's really important. We know that as women, we know it's really important. So they sent me these are basically like a probiotic these are the feminine balance complex these detox and cleanse and then they sent me over their actual probiotics so i guess these these ones are just like a detox and cleanse but they do have probiotic in them which i love but these are specifically probiotics so love to see it you know i love me a good supplement so they sent me those then they sent me over their intimus this is basically an intimate oil blend with aloe vera and tea tree so i've never used a product like this but i'm super excited you're supposed to use this i guess you just kind of like spray down there and it says it relieves it it relieves discomfort yeah it says it use as needed to help alleviate any symptoms of vaginal discomfort so i love to see that it's just nothing but basically like oils in here coconut oil orange peel oil like i said tea tree oil aloe vera oil elderberry seed oil so i'm really really excited to use this and give this a go 
then I already used one of these. Like I said, this is not for unboxing. I'm too newsy. I couldn't, listen, I couldn't wait. Let me just show y'all one of these though, because they're so different from any other liner that I've seen. So yeah, these are liners. These are the Balance Shield Candy Liners. And these have like a gray, let me show you, a gray rectangle. And basically it's like an anti-microbial like strip. Girl, I don't know, but I was like, okay, that's tea, I like it. So I already used one, I really liked it. It says it's an antimicrobial PMPH balancing core. So I was like, yeah, and then this is just like breathable absorbent absorbent cotton and it's organic. And then it says discharge and odor proof layers. So yeah, let me wrap this right back up because I'm definitely gonna be using it. But yeah, when I opened it the first time, I was like, what is this? Got the package in red and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Okay, next, they sent me over their Feminine Wash. Y'all know I was using, what was I using before? The Always Fresh. Couldn't find it, like I said. Then I was using the Dr. Bronner's. I'm already almost out of it. So this is like perfect timing. Um, I'm going to just switch over to this and see how I like it. This is like what I'm most excited to try because I just love me like a good wash because I just love feeling like, you know, clean and fresh down there. So... Like I said, this is a So Fresh and Clean wash. This also has boric acid in it, and it says it supports odor control, cleanses discharge, and promotes, a oh, girl, what? Promotes healthy pH. So, I'm really excited. This is, it has like a little cap inside. I already like looked, but this is fragrance free. So I'm super, super, super excited to use this. I'm not gonna take it off because I'm not about to pop a press on off but this is like i'm so excited for it and then for the you know for the suppositories they just sent me like the applicator thank you so much it's easy to just pop it up in there so love to see it i love that they thought about that too and then lastly they sent me their feminine health test strips and then where did i see i think on the inside it yeah it gives you like the levels so that you can See, like once you test again i've never tested my um ph levels so i'm super excited to try it um again i know a lot of girls do this i don't know why i've never done it but now that i have this i'm super excited to try it so yeah like i said thank you so much to nutriblast for sponsoring this portion of today's video um you guys will be getting updates on these products but i'm super excited um so yeah let me know if you test your ph before I'm very curious like I feel like this is going to be like a little science project for me but anyway let's go ahead and get into today's vlog. Alright y'all let's do a little a little tiny chit chat. A quick one though because excuse me one I gotta go film excuse me two I gotta run to my mom's house because I got a lot of sponsorships that are getting delivered today. You know, Monday is like a very good, Monday and Saturdays are like fire for packages. Like all your packages usually come on Saturday and Monday. So I have a lot of sponsorships getting delivered today. And I think one of them I have to sign for. So I gotta run over there and just chill over there. And like I said, I gotta also film because I gotta film a sponsored uh, TikTok for Pumi again. I think it's Pumi. Pumi or yeah, I think it's Pumi. I know the bodysuits. They sent me over their t-shirt. So got this white one. They didn't let me pick out the colors this time. I'm not sure why. But they sent me this white one. They sent me a chocolate one. I'm not gonna take them out because y'all saw like you know the bodysuits. And then they sent me a red one, which I know I don't wear red, but I'm thinking this will be really nice for like the holiday time, like around Christmas, maybe. Um I gotta see when I try it on, like, how I feel about it. Not about, like, the shirt itself, because, like, baby, the shirt is fire. It's, like, triple, quadruple lined. Like, it's really, really thick. It's warm, stretchy, and, um, like, it's, it snatches you in. But, I don't know, I gotta just see how I feel about the color on me. Because if I'm not feeling it, then I'm gonna give it to my mom, because she loves, she doesn't love red, but she wears red. And, um, she... She'll be able to fit it, so I gotta go 
film this really quick, edit it, probably at my mom's house, make it go a lot of my mom's house, stuff like that, because I got to get over there, because it's going to be delivered by 1, it's 11.22, so yeah, anyway, I, it's been a busy morning, I already got one sponsorship, uh, filmed, edited, and sent over for approval, so I'm really happy about that. Um, but yeah, let's get into that week off. I don't know if I'm going to get questions about it or not. I don't know. But it wasn't like an intentional week off. Like I wasn't going into last week thinking like, oh, I'm going to take off. But it just happened. Like my body just forced me to. Y'all know, like I said, I haven't been sleeping. And y'all have been giving me so many suggestions. Thank you. Y'all were saying magnesium, exercising, the um, sleepy girl cocktail. There's something else somebody said. I think tea and stuff like that so yeah like I said I wasn't sleeping and y'all knew that and my body just kind of like basically shut down it was like girl I've been telling you for like two weeks now that you're not sleeping like we need to rest like why are you not listening to me so it like forced me to listen so yeah I wasn't feeling good last week and I just had to like kind of cool it a little bit so yeah, but if the thing about it was, it wasn't even just like I was just like off. I was still working a lot behind the scenes. I just wasn't vlogging or posting on TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. So it wasn't even like it was still a chill week. It very much wasn't. Oh my God, it was so busy last week. So much going on. But I was able to get like some rest in between. So I'm feeling better. Not like 100% yet. Um, I am sleeping better though. I haven't really tried anything different i think because my body was just so overly exhausted that it's kind of like it's <laughs> forcing me to sleep now so yeah sorry about that and it's so crazy because it's always when i say oh my god i'm gonna be posting more oh my god i'm gonna be posting two videos a week and then literally it's like always the next week that i go missing and then it's like we retreat back which we are because my schedule right now is like crazy, like crazy. I feel very blessed. I feel very fortunate. I have a lot of sponsorships. I think because it's holiday season. Well, is it? Would you consider it a holiday season? Because not everybody really celebrates Halloween. Like we're heading into holiday season. And so this is when brands are like grabbing you up, grabbing you up, grabbing you up. Like sponsorships, sponsorships, sponsorships. So... It's a very busy time and I'm very grateful. I feel very blessed. Like I don't even I don't know why I'm about the emotional, but yeah. So I just have a lot going on. A lot of content that gotta get out, they gotta get filmed, edited, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go back to one week, either Tuesdays or Thursdays, Taylor Tuesdays, Taylor Thursdays for now. Um I think just for the remainder of October in november um maybe there'll be more i don't want to make any promises though um <clears throat> and then like you can kind of hear my voice too that i just was just girl out of it um and i i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do vlogmas i'm not sure yet i really want to <laughs> i really want to we will see but yeah sorry about that sorry about that <laughs> Um, but y'all, I know y'all gonna understand because y'all always tell me for my health and my mental health first. So, that's what I did, girl. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's the little updates. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, uh, I gotta put, I gotta clean up because this is a mess. I was trying to go through, like, PR and stuff like that. It's just so much, and I'm not, girl, I'm not complaining. I'm so grateful. YSL sent me um, black opium and this mascara, which I got on today. I was like, okay, YSL, like, y'all got my lashes looking like something. Like, my lashes, I don't know if y'all can see on camera, but they look really, really long, and I'm so over <sighs> falsies. It's just because of the glue. The glue is so sticky, and I just can't. But when I got this in PR, I was like, this is crazy because this was the very first, like, Black Opium was the very first fragrance that I ever bought. I think I bought it back in, I don't know, maybe when I was, like, 20. 
think when I was like 20, I think Isaiah was coming to see me for like the first time in years. Now, now just story time. Like, y'all don't even care. He was coming to see me, I think, was that 20? Yeah, I think he was coming to see me. He was living in Guam because he was in the Air Force. And so I hadn't seen him since I was probably 14. Yeah, 14. So I hadn't seen him for like six years. We weren't together or anything, but when I was 20, we were like talking and stuff like that. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna come see you. I'm gonna come see you. I'm gonna come see you. Girl, he came and saw me, okay? He flew from Guam to Philly to see me. And um, I think I was just like in Ulta getting stuff. And I was like, let me just smell some things. And I fell in love with YSL Black Opium. And I was like, yeah, I would smell good for him. And I bought it and it was like my first fragrance. And so when they sent it to me, I almost like broke down crying. Cause I was like, wow, that's like such a full circle moment that like, this was my very first fragrance that I purchased. And then they sent it to me. And like, the crazy thing is I don't even have mine anymore. I think I lost it when we were living in Texas. And like every now and then I think about it. I think about the fragrance and like, I never end up buying it. And so yeah, like girl, I was, I don't know, I'd be emotional. I almost cried, girl. I was like, wow, like, thank you, God. That's so crazy. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, let me go because now just story time. Now just sappy hour. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. Good morning. It's actually like a really beautiful fall morning, by the way. Like, yes. It's so nice outside. Like, it's not like it's, like, warm or anything, but the sun is out. You know, God woke me up today, and it's just so nice. Like, it's just so nice today. I feel really blessed. So, it is 10.45, and I went to the bank, and then I went to my mom's house to uh, get another sponsorship that got delivered yesterday. And now we made it to Home Goods. So I um I haven't really been back to Home Goods. Y'all know how. <laughs> First of all, so many people, so many of y'all, not even people, so many of y'all thought I was being so funny when I was saying how it's gonna be war and home goods over these damn Christmas blankets. But <laughs> to be honest, I really haven't even cared at this point anymore. Like it's so funny how, like, you can just change and just not even care about something that you, like, so passionate about. Um, yeah, so I haven't been back to Home Goods since that, I think my last vlog or the vlog before that when I got the little to-go cups. Like, I haven't been to Home Goods with that in probably, like, a week and a half or something like that. Maybe even going on two weeks. Um, but I was like, you know what, it's such a nice day. And... I'm going to be out anyway. Why not just stop here and see what's going on? So, yeah, we are home goods. We're going to go see what's good in here. And then we're going to go down to TJ Maxx. Um, and then, yeah, after that, we're going to go home. I got some packages at home to open up. And I got to do, like, an everything shower tonight. So I'll probably film that with y'all because I got to film tomorrow. I got to film, like, a lot of sponsored content tomorrow. So I got to wash my hair and stuff. Which, by the way... People be asking me, the me and stuff like that, like, what do I do to grow my hair? And I, like, to be honest, I feel like, like, a huge chunk of it is just my jeans. Like, I feel like maybe, like, 80% of it is just my jeans. Like, and then I would say maybe 10% of it is, like, the products that I use. And then, which y'all, I've showed y'all what I use, but I don't know. I have been using Trader Joe's shampoo and conditioner, though, and I've been liking it. Um, but I can't recommend it because I haven't been using it enough to, like, tell y'all that it's worth buying, you know what I mean? Um, but I have been using that over necessary lately. And then the other 10%, I think it's just me not washing my hair. Like, girl, call me dirty if you want to, but I don't wash my hair every day, every other day, even every week. I wash my hair probably, like, every uh maybe 12 days or so <laughs> maybe um like i don't have a problem putting my hair up in a bun and or a ponytail 
and just letting it be dirty because I feel like my oils, my natural oils just help my hair grow. I think that's the main thing, like just not washing your hair all the time. Like don't get me wrong, if I have somewhere to go or if I have to film content like I do tomorrow, then I will wash my hair. But if not, I have no problem. My hair doesn't itch or anything and it doesn't smell when it's dirty. So I be wearing my stuff. Y'all know, y'all always see me in a bun. Like I don't got no problem wearing my hair in a bun. And I like it in a bun because it'd be out of my face, out of my way, and not all, like, down my neck, on my back, like, just irritating me, so. Yeah, I wish I could give y'all the salsa recipe, but, like I said, I really just feel like it's just my genes. Um, yeah, I know my grandma used to brush her hair every single night. I don't know if it was, like, for a certain amount of time, like, a certain amount of times, like, brushing her hair, like, 50 times, 30 times, something like that. I don't know, but... Or I don't know if it was like for like a certain amount of time, like five minutes just straight brushing her hair. Um, but I know that was one thing that she did do. She would like religiously brush her hair every single night. And that's something that I don't do, but I feel like I should do because my hair is just like hers. Um, and I feel like I should be doing that. And then when she got sick, my mom uh, would just brush it for her and stuff like that. So maybe I should start brushing my hair more often, like her, like every single night. Because her hair was so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Anyway. Random Nancy. Let's just go in here and see. Let's see. Um, there's some stuff going viral on TikTok. But, oh, like a candle and stuff. The pink blankets. But I don't want a pink blanket. But, yeah. Let's go see. I hope y'all are having a good day, a good week. Um, sending y'all good. Oh, I just closed out of my emails. We weren't, excuse me, supposed to do that. Yeah, so let's go see what's going on before it starts getting crowded. I try to come before the moms. So let's go in here. the music is loud but look what the hell i found i got lucky today oh my god i thought it was like darker than this but girl i don't care this is crazy i'm so hyped Y'all, look how I ate that. Like, I could scream right now. What the f Yo. God is so good to me. That's crazy. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm shocked. Like, I have no words. Like, God is just so good. <laughs> A random Wednesday. Y'all. I am so so happy like I <laughs> I can't even speak I'm not even gonna go down to TJ Maxx because I got what I really wanted that's really crazy and the crazy thing is it really wasn't on the plan for me to come here where is this lady coming to she was walking like she had some business with me y'all I can't believe this. And it's getting crowded. And I got another one that I didn't show y'all. I'm going to show you when we get home. But this is unbelievable. And my nail popped off because I was being a hater. Because I was being so hyped grabbing up the blankets that it popped off. And I don't got glue, which is crazy because I always carry glue with me. But whatever, y'all. I'm so hyped. Let's go home. And it's crazy. You see how I was just so positive going in there, like, just saying, like, how today was just a nice day. Like, I'm just admiring the day. Like, it's the leaves are falling. They're changing colors. It's a beautiful day. Yo, God is so good. That's crazy. And they had so many. Like, y'all lucky I ain't buy out the damn store. Y'all lucky I'm not like them resellers. Okay? Because I could have bought the whole store out and made a little coin off these damn blankets, like how these people be doing. But... I'm not the type of person. I could be, but I'm not. All 
All right, let's do a little unboxing. I'm really excited. And let's go through the blankets and stuff. Don't mind my appearance. Child, listen. Not every day can be your best 10 out of 10 day, okay? So we just wanna skip past the way I look. But yeah, let's do the blankets first since I feel like that's the most important thing. Like, ugh, hello? So y'all know I got this one, the snowflake one. And y'all know like this matches my office perfectly. Like, so that's exactly where that's gonna go. That's gonna go on my office couch. We're just gonna go real quick because y'all already saw and I think I already told y'all too. And my window's open. Oh my God, are you serious? Now just, why would you do that? Okay, I think we're good. It's gonna be a little loud, but y'all, it's like 75. It's about to be summertime in Philly. Global warming. It's gonna be 80 on Saturday, like. So my windows is open, cause it's giving summer part two, okay? Anyway. Y'all saw I got the tree. So this one is gonna go on this couch, like my living room. And then now just helicopters. Like this is just so ghetto. And then I got another one. This is gonna go on our bed. I'm really excited about this one. Cause like we don't usually put throw blankets on our bed. So I'm really excited. And then I like how it just has like the little tassels. Super cute. So I got two of the trees and then, oh my God, this is getting everywhere. And then, I didn't tell y'all about this one. I didn't show y'all this one. I was being a little sneaky. Y'all, how cute. This is what I really, like, I wanted the trees. I wanted all of them. So I can't even say I really wanted this one because I wanted all of them. This is so cute. Like, this is white on white Christmas trees. This is kind of what I wanted for the Halloween, like the white on white ghosts. My mouth dropped. Like, I really just had to control myself because I really wanted to just buy all of them and put them where. I don't know, but it's just, y'all know how Halloween was like very thing for me. Like, I was really like, not upset, but like annoyed about the blankets because y'all knew I really wanted those blankets. And so, you know, I just had to settle with the bat blanket. And y'all know the whole ordeal with that and it being dirty and old and I guess returned or whatever. But it's okay, cause God said, don't worry, I got you for Christmas. Cause y'all know, I don't even really, remember I was saying like, I don't really decorate for Halloween. I don't, like Christmas is my favorite holiday. And the fact that I got everything that I wanted, it's just, thank you God. That's all I can say, cause wow. I really like lucked out with these and they're so cute. And if y'all want them, and are planning on getting them. I hope y'all find them. Cause like I know how like disappointing it can be. You know, want something and it's viral and then you can't get it because it's freaking viral. So yeah. Those are the little blankets and I'm so excited to decorate with y'all for Christmas. Um next, let's just do skins real quick because oh I gotta order. I'm about to order wing stop, baby. I'm about to order wing stop. We about to watch that new I don't even know what it's called. Usher House, whatever, on Netflix. I have to watch that. Eat some wings stop and call it a night. But I just got, I think I told y'all the fold over yoga pants or whatever she calls them. Oh, this is different. It's not like a, like a regular seam. It's almost like a raw, a raw edge that was like sewed up. That's different. I wasn't expecting that. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like a folded seam. It's just kind of like raw. I don't know. I think y'all know what I mean. But yeah, I'm probably gonna insert a picture of me. Oh, I got four minutes left on this. So yeah, let me hurry up. Insert a picture of this on because I don't feel like trying it on right now, y'all. I'm not gonna hold you. And I'm sweating right now because it's hot. So I'm gonna insert a picture for y'all to see. And then I just got the mock neck because the regular one was sold out and i really wanted like a long sleeve to go with it because like i just want to be able to wear this by itself like no jacket or anything like that i could probably get away with it this week since it's going to be so damn nice um so yeah that was from skims and then i got y'all another like emotional moment pr from prada they sent me perfume of course 
Y'all just know me so well. Like, they sent me Prada Paradox, the intense version. I, I don't think I've smelled like the regular one, but I know that it's like really, really popular. So that's really nice. And then they sent me just a refill. Isaiah's walking the dog, but he's about to come back right now. So let me hurry up. Let's see, and I gotta hurry up because this is about to cut off on me. Oh my God, they sent me the, is this the big bottle or is this one? This is one, 1.61 1 ounce. So pretty. Let me know if you have this and how you like it. Like, if you have the regular version, let me know. And let me know if you plan on getting the intense. Oh, wow. This is very nice. I like this. Oh, I like this. This kind of reminds me of Born and Roma. And then, I don't know if I said they sent me the refill. I don't know if I said it. But if I did, whatever. And then, L'Oreal sent me a big little, like a ticket to getaway. Ticket to Glow package. Super cute. I'm going to give a lot of this to my mom. She loves L'Oreal. She loves stuff like this. So I'm not even going to go through it. But it's just basically like the Glotion. And then what is this? Oh, and it's taped down. 4-in-1 Glow Perfector. And then little like multi-purposes. Purposes? Multi-purpose jumble sticks. Oops. Who was that? This is why I don't have my window open. And then lastly, one of my supporters on TikTok sent me some candles from her brand. So I will link these down below. Super sweet. She wrote me a really like sweet message and everything. And I just, y'all are so supportive. So like I have to support y'all too. So these are 30 candles. That's the name of her brand. She sent me brown sugar and fig and campfire marshmallow. I already opened it and smelled it. They smell amazing. They come, he's so good. 